Hi friends! <laughs> for today's video I thought that I would share what it's been like for me to be my first ever Hobonichi. I've been in this one for a bit more than a month now, it's like the first week of February. So I would say I've been in this journal now for five to six weeks. So yeah, I thought I would share what my approach has been, what I have struggled with, what has really worked for me and just also chat about some of the stationery and tools I've used together with this Hobonichi. So let's move some things to the side. Okay, here we have it in all its glory. My Hobonichi Teko, the cousin one. It's my first ever Hobonichi and I'm so excited. And spoiler alert, I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> I'm gonna link the video where I unboxed this journal and where I set it up. I don't have like another sort of cover to this one. I don't have a plastic cover on it. It's just the cardboard that you get. And I don't mind it. Honestly, this journal doesn't leave my house yet. It might come with me when I go traveling, I'm not certain. But I don't really see the need for any other type of cover. It's... for me, I don't need it. So, very happy with how it's looking, but let's look at the inside, shall we? So, I talked about when I decorated it in my video. You can watch that one if you'd like. I have not yet utilized this year at a glance page. I had some ideas, never fully committed to them. So now I think I'm just gonna mark off my days off or holidays or something. Something like that, just to keep it as a memory. But then we get to the first real thing I've been working on. And this is my song of the day. So every day I try to write a song I really enjoyed that day and have listened to a lot. I switch it up. Sometimes it's songs I've been obsessed with or have discovered that day. Sometimes it's songs that I heard just like in the passing or something. And sometimes it's a song that somehow relates to the day. So for example, on the 8th of January, I put The Climb by Miley Cyrus. That's because I went climbing with some colleagues and I also heard the song. My one requirement is that I actually heard that song that day. Then we have plenty of days where I put down Unwritten because I went and saw Anyone But You and that is basically the song of the movie, so yeah. I put down Flowers by Miley Cyrus because my mom when we were driving home from skiing, mentioned that she really likes this song, so we listened to it together, so that's a sweet memory. And then just like random songs that somehow relate to my day and that I listen to that day. I've been really enjoying this. Yes, there are a few days I have missed. Not too bummed out about it, to be honest. I can't force it, or I'm, tr I'm trying not to force it, basically. So I'm gonna keep up with this, I'm also gonna make a playlist with all of these songs, is my goal. So by the end of the year I will have all of my songs of the day gathered in one playlist. That's awesome, right? Moving on. Uh, yeah, here's my December setup. You saw it in the previous video, I'm not gonna talk about it that much, I didn't like it. So this is what my first full month of this year has looked like. This is the January monthly view and it looks really boring, I'm not gonna lie, okay? It looks really bland <laughs> and basically the way I utilize or have come to realize that I utilize these monthly views is simply by writing down my appointments and also tracking habits. So I've written down all of the gym classes I went to, when I've gone to the movies, um, when I had booked the laundry room, things like that. And I've also been tracking habits. So in these, like, I don't know, in every box there's like this header part where I've decided to, tra to track habits. And those habits I've written down here and basically it's just like a legend with uh, letters representing different chores or habits. So one thing I've been tracking is I've been attempting skin cycling. <laughs> if you don't know what, what that is, it's basically when you cycle through your skincare. So you exfoliate, use retinol and then focus on moisture. I've been attempting that this year. So I've just been tracking on which day I do what in order to make it easier for me to keep, tra keep track since it's like a four day cycle I'm working with. I've also been tracking when I'm watering my plants and when I'm giving them extra nutrition and things like that. And I've really been liking this system actually and I think this will develop into me tracking more habits. I also attempted to write down some goals here. Uh, didn't really focus that much on goals in January. It was more about getting into a routine and making habits. So we then have my February month at a glance or monthly view. Same thing here, tracking my habits. This time I've attempted to use a bit more color and stickers. It's not that much yet, but I, I've worked with it. 
and I think this will continue to develop throughout this year as well. I really like this with the Hobonichi that basically every page is like a new page. <laughs> Obviously that sounded stupid but it's really like a new chance to try something new. Yes it's like pre-structured or whatever. I don't really feel forced to stick to a certain layout or setup or similar. I can play around with it, do whatever works for me. But tracking appointments, tracking habits has been working for me. Uh, this time I put the goals down here and I do still think I will attempt to have a few goals every month to focus on. And then this is where I will build my legend for the habits I wish to track. The monthly views have worked for me, which isn't a surprise because monthly views typically do work for me. Another thing I got in this journal are these thicker tabs that I use to just easily mark off the month I'm in, the week I'm in, and the day. Any sort of tab works. I like these. These are a bit thicker. I got them from a random store, but I think it, it works well. Some use paper clips, stuff like that as well. Whatever works for you. I have not pre-planned anything. Might do that later. Or I might just make it a habit to plan for the upcoming month at the end of the current month. I have not really been utilizing my weekly views at all. So let's have a look in January. I had this idea that I was gonna track habits on my weekly view, but honestly I didn't stick with it. I didn't really like how it looked and how it turned out. So instead I just once again tracked my appointments. But there's no need to do that in my weekly view because I track it in my monthly view and honestly I don't have that many appointments, okay? My days are all fairly similar, like from 8 to 6 I'm at the office, I then go to the gym, or I go home, or I meet up with a friend, but it's not like I don't need to track all my 24 hours in a day. So I did this thing where I attempted to track all of my uh, appointments when I went to the gym, things like that. I also attempted to write down goals, didn't really stick with that. I then did, attempted to just like do these boxes around my appointments, didn't really matter either. This is like the main thing, the main feature of this journal that I have not been utilizing. So I'm trying to figure out, like last week I really didn't put anything down in it. So I have this idea that I'm gonna attempt to track things I'm grateful for and things that I enjoyed about the day basically. So write down three things I'm grateful for and three things that made the day good. I'm gonna attempt to do that. Those prompts might change. I do think that the way these pages might work the best for me is if I have prompts to write down. I might switch around with the prompts, try out different types of prompts, but something that will encourage me to use these pages because there's plenty of them, okay? There's 52 weeks. I have plenty of weekly pages that I want to use. If you have any suggestions for things to write or do with my weekly spreads, please share them and let me know because I don't want to waste these pages and I do feel like I could really learn to appreciate them if only I had an idea of what I really wanted to do with them. And this is once again also where I feel like I really appreciate the Hobonichi though because I tried some things out for the first few weeks, didn't really commit, now I'm trying something new out, if that won't work, I will try something out on the next page and I'm very happy and excited to see that progress actually. Those are the weeklies. Once again, I haven't really pre-planned anything. There's nothing new in it. So let's head to my dailies. Now, my dailies are the pages that I definitely use the most. I journal every evening, sometimes in the morning. And it, it was my goal with the Hobonichi cousin actually, to be able to write in it every single day and track my day, perhaps do a bit of scrapbooking, have somewhere to mix both to-dos and journal entries. So, as you saw in the setup video, here are some of my goals for the year. This isn't new, but then here. Okay, every single month has this blank first page. I'm not certain what to do with them. So this time I just put down some random stickers <laughs> and wrote down like the motto of the year. For all the other days, I mainly focus on journaling. So I do like to write in cursive and I do like to write with my Lamy Safari fountain pen. I used to use a random black ink for this one, but I like this one because it's very lightweight. It's not that expensive, this pen, compared to many other fountain pens. So it's a good beginner's fountain pen. I personally think it's quite lightweight and easy to write with. I've noticed with my fancier fountain pen that my hand actually cramps. This one doesn't. If you are, just like a thing I realized, 
if you are struggling with like hand cramps when you write with your fountain pen, it might be due to the fact that you have the cap on the bottom of the pen because that actually makes the pen heavier, even though that sounds stupid. And if you're finding that your hand is cramping and your like, yeah, it, it feels heavy, I guess, either remove the cap or get a lighter pen. Uh, that has worked for me. I don't want my hand to cramp up when I'm writing my journal entries. This is the pen I've been using and it has been working great for this, actually. So in my journal entries, I am trying to be personal, okay? I'm trying to write about the day or thoughts or feelings. I don't really stick to any sort of theme or like template or anything like that. My goal is to write. What I write doesn't really matter that much. Occasionally I utilize the squares at the top of the page for to-do lists. They tend to be really short. I could potentially do the to-dos <laughs> do the to-dos, haha. I could potentially write them on my weekly spreads instead. Main focus is journal entries and writing. I do occasionally use my phone memo printer, which is this one, to print these types of stickers. Honestly though, I don't find that this one is working too well for me and I would actually love to have one that could print in color. So if you have any recommendations for these sorts of wireless, Bluetooth, connectable, inkless printers that you can connect to your phone please let me know that prints in color as well i like being able to just go on my phone open up the app and print something but i would like to have them in color and also they are a bit weird there's something there's some sort of issue with this one <laughs> on this page i just wrote about some of the books i was currently reading and then we have some more here I use another type of pen. I sometimes just use what I have at hand. So sometimes in this I use like my Muji gel pens or this random one I received from a friend. So the pen isn't that important. I prefer my Lamy pen, but it's not the most important part. The important part is that I'm writing. I went to the movies, I saw Priscilla. I also started to watch The Crown with my mom the last season. And I really like being able to print like the movie posters or book covers or things like that. And my aim for this journal is for it to be a bit more scrapbooky, but I haven't really collected many scraps, so to speak, in January. So working with stickers have been my solution so far to make it a bit more intriguing. But hopefully perhaps in the future I can add like physical tickets or receipts or random notes or stuff like that into this journal. That, that's a possibility. Uh, I use these stickers to rate movies as well. I really like that. It's a cute touch, I think. Sometimes I write a lot. Sometimes I don't write a lot. It really differs. Here I went and saw the movie Anyone But You and I loved it. And I actually really like this page because I wrote a bit of the lyrics here and uh, doodled these like notes. I never doodle or I suck at doodling so yeah <laughs> so more just plain writing I think I ripped the page here so I sort of put it back together with a washi uh, more writing more writing and you can see that sometimes I utilize these squares for my to do's and they get pretty long and sometimes I simply don't here I spiced it up with some stickers randomly Whenever I'm in the mood, I guess. More writing. Getting back to the scrapbooky thing, I found this page and I just wrote on that one instead of in the actual book and taped it in. Uh, here I saw the Battle of Songbirds and Snakes, so of course I wanted to commemorate that. Uh, once again, a random sticker. And yeah, as I mentioned, sometimes I write a lot and sometimes I don't. And then for February, once again, I don't know what to do with these first pages of each month. Um, any suggestions are welcome. And here I just continue to write. This is actually another note. I didn't have time to write in the book during this day, so, but instead I had written down my thoughts in a notepad earlier. So I just taped that in, because why not? And yeah. And this is today. <laughs> So I've really been enjoying the daily pages. I feel like that's 
the main thing for me with this journal is that I utilize that daily. I have other ways of tracking my appointments, okay? I track them in my digital planner and on my Notion. So like, I don't necessarily need this, but I do like to have it visualized in this way and in physical format. But for me, the main thing is the journaling and to make it personal with stickers, scrap paper, stuff like that. That's like my main thing, I would say. But overall, I would say that this has been working really good for me. My one issue, once again, is the weekly spread. And regarding if I write in this one every day, pretty much, yeah. I think I've missed like three or four days. Three or four evenings where I've gotten home late and have simply forgotten. But in most of those cases, I have just backfilled the journal the day after. We're gonna see if it lasts. I think the real test for this journal would be whether I will bring it with me when I start to go traveling a bit more this year and if I will actually write in it while I'm away. It's gonna be interesting. I will definitely keep you posted about how things develop. Uh, oh yeah, and in the back here, there is this one. Yeah, this one. It's like a... It's like my 100. I decided to make this into a bucket list. Um, I haven't written down that much. I've only written down like 20 things in it. But what I'm gonna do is when I've done one of these things, I will not only check it off, but I will also write which month I did that thing. I'm not really utilizing any other pages back here. Uh, it's all about the dailies and monthlies for me. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for spending your time looking at it and catching up on how I've been doing with my Hobonichi Teiko cousin. I honestly love and adore it. I'm very happy with it and I'm excited to continue to use it for the rest of the year because as I said, I have a feeling that this one will constantly grow and develop and I will change my habits and redo things and it's gonna be super fun to see. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please take care and I'll see you on the next one. Don't think about what